Take it easy. Okay. What this contest does is it brings all the disciplines together. You've got science and you've got art, you've got social studies, you've got geography. Those young people who painted those ducks, it wasn't just painting, it was research. I'm always amazed when you talk about children and science, there's always the complaint that they spend too much time online and they're not outside. My experience has been that kids still today, they don't talk about it as much, they have pets, they belong to scouting, they like to get outdoors, they want to save this planet and we've got to catch up with them sometimes. This is my eighth year teaching and it's my fifth year doing the junior duck stamp with my students and I teach kindergarten through eighth grade. Our school, St. John Regional Catholic, was named a STEM school last year and I see that the Junior Duck Stamp is an opportunity to combine art and science and even technology. Our students were in our computer lab to start off doing research on their waterfowl. It, the collaboration across disciplines is just so important um, that it, it just makes it a win-win for the students, but it makes it a win-win for the world because the, the important part, the art is beautiful, and I'm an art teacher, so I'm very visual and I love art, but it's the conservation message, whether you do it in pictures or whether it's the conservation message in words. It's getting young people excited and invigorated. They're the stewards of our world for tomorrow, and we've got to get them involved and outside, and this does it. Oh, I saw a frog okay. and they touched it.